morning, weekly vlog 42, and this morning has not been my planned morning, not gonna lie. Woke up to a message about a girl calling in sick to work, which is fine, obviously can't be helped, but we have, the manager is on holiday, and then another girl who we would have called has her final exams at uni tomorrow so i was like we can't call her so i was like i'm gonna have to come in if the girl that's doing lunch cover can't come in then couldn't get hold of her so i was like i'm just gonna get up so i got up had a shower and then i got a text saying it was fine as i was saying before my camera died so yes my morning didn't start quite as planned so i was up and ready like super duper early really wanted a lion's day but clearly didn't get one and i was like meh i'll do a face mask so zoe gave me this the other day both were really good for like blackheads and stuff which is what i've been struggling with at the moment hence why i tried that carbon mask last week again oh by the way i've ordered some of the like charcoal toothpaste stuff i'm gonna try that see how that works because it's, I've wanted to try it for ages but it takes like 15 to 25 days to come so I've got to wait ages for it but I got 20% off which is cool which I think they're doing at the moment if you go onto the website I will put it here somewhere if you go onto the website I think it pops up straight away and you put your email address in and you get 20% off and um, so it cost me like $47 so 28 uh, roughly about 28 pounds with free postage although I'm kind of thinking are they going to catch me out when it gets here am I going to have to pay like money when the parcel gets here they won't post it i don't know we'll find out i'll let you know when i find out but yeah anyway off topic so i tried this it's a cucumber all skin for all skin types like clay mask it's a three minute clay mask but i've been leaving it on longer than three minutes cucumber is one of my favorite smells though so really really liking it and i as you saw i literally just put it i put it all over my face the first time i used it which was fine like i will do that again but this morning i was just like no it's gonna put it on my nose and my t-zone and everything so that's what i did and it leaves my skin feeling really really nice so yeah i highly recommend that it's boots as well so it's super cheap super cheap and you don't need a lot it's really thick well it's a clay mask so it's quite a thick consistency so yeah i used that this morning instead then i was watching some youtube and i found what's her name bella bella fiori i was watching um gabriella and she mentioned her and she said that she does like um crime videos so she talks about missing people and like the theories behind what happened and how they were killed and stuff like that I've been hooked. She's got seven episodes up at the minute. They're called Mystery Mondays or something like that. But she's in Australia, so it actually goes up on like a Sunday night. Uh, really good. Highly recommend her. It's really like loved all of them. I've watched them all already. And and I had another little nap as well because I rushed out of bed so quick this morning that I was like, I'm shattered. I need to sleep a little bit more. So I had another little nap. It's now three o'clock. I'm dressed, I'm ready, I need to go outside because today's beautiful, it's such a nice day, so I think I'm going to go into the garden, I also need to find out if I'm actually going to Chris's, I don't know if I am, I haven't heard anything from him, so I don't know, so I'm going to drop him a message, see what he is up to, see if I can pop over for like an hour or so, just to say hi, and yeah, that is one's plan, also I feel like I've gone a bit OTT on the contour for me. I used um, my collections duo, like the, oh that's really weird, nice vein there. Um, <laughs> I used my collections contour, the one that's got the bronzer and the highlight in, and I've used the bronzer and the highlight, so can you see? I do quite like it, but it's a bit much for my pasty skin, I feel. <laughs> Guys, even the wind is warm today, it's such a nice day. Let's go look at the kitty. Kitty, 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 play this is the sort of day I just want to have a dog. So I can just be like, I'm just going to take the dog for a walk and just go out for like a really nice long walk. But I don't have a dog. I'm not allowed a dog. Where are you going? She's just gone around the back of the thing. Oh, it's so muddy. I can't walk on the... Where are you going? Aurora! Hello! <laughs> you can tell the schools have just broken up. <laughs> uh, 
man, I really want a barbecue today. This is perfect weather for a barbecue. Oh, oh my good, muddy feet. <laughs> Harry Potter socks in the mud. Yeah, I know, I really want a barbecue. It's such a nice day. Oh, thank goodness I didn't have to go to work today. Can you imagine if this has been like the nicest day and I had to go into work, I would not have been a very happy person. No, I would not. Right, I'm gonna go text Chris to see what I'm doing today. It is warm in this car. Oh my goodness. I'm not gonna have the roof down though. I'm not feeling the roof down. The windswept look, not feeling it today. Um, plan has been made. I'm going to Sainsbury's to buy a disposable barbecue and some food and we're gonna have a barbecue tonight, which I'm excited about because I've wanted a barbecue for a long time. Oh my goodness, it is so hot in this car. Whew. Let's go. Did I bring a hair bubble? Yeah, I did. Okay, I'm ready. I was really worried that there wasn't gonna be any like barbecue stuff anywhere, but Sainsbury's saved the day. There was barbecue stuff at Sainsbury's. So I've got two barbecues, some bread rolls, sausages and burgers. I got, Chris wanted some bacon, so I've got some bacon, although they do have some here, but there's not much. Sausages, burgers, and some ice cream. Because you can't have a barbecue without ice cream, can you? No, it's such a nice day. Look. Look, Chris got me a teddy bear from Berlin because he's cute. He's well cute. And it's like a proper teddy. Like, it's not a creepy looking teddy, it's like a proper teddy. There's someone at the front door. Hold oh, on, this isn't my house. Also, they've had an ant problem here, like ants been coming in and stuff. I think Chris has just found where they're coming from, like by the door here. Like here, look. Ugh. Does that just make you itch? That makes me really itchy, like just thinking of ants makes me itchy. Just getting his washing in, being all domesticated. Oh. <laughs> the camera just went really wonky. This trap that I've got is crap. You need to do a flip. I can't do a flip. Do a flip. Try a flip. This is all I can do. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And then this. <laughs> <laughs> That's like proper freeze frame. That's what I can do. Just be careful. Do I do a front flip or a back flip? Uh, front flip. Back flip is more dangerous, I would say. Well, I kind of feel more comfortable with a back flip. I don't know. Really? I don't know. Um, right, front flip. Move further back, otherwise you're going to flip off the trampoline. Ooh. Yay! <laughs> oh, that's a stick in the foot. <laughs> There's so much crap on this trampoline. <laughs> Woo! Oh, I've not got any technique though. It's literally just jump and spin. <laughs> no. <laughs> Bottled it. Oh my God, you're like <laughs> launching yourself. <laughs> forward before I went up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> ah! I can't quite get that. I'm terrified you're going to like fly off of it. I'm terrified I'm going to end up with bones the size of... <laughs> Ow. So what happens when you're not very good at front flips. What people would do for a vlog. Possibly <laughs> if you fly just where it was needed
magnificent life Just what it was needed I can't decide if this is a spot or a bite. Whatever it is. It's blooming annoying. <laughs> I think it's a bite. That's so annoying. I get bitten on my face. But yeah, look. Oh, she's gone. I had to go, oh, look. Aurora's there ready for me, but she's moved. Should I come and say hi? Hello. Mm -hmm. had a really nice afternoon as you saw we had trampoline fun had a barbecue this is really bugging me um and then just sat by the fire for an hour or something i don't even know so yeah it was nice i could sit by fire for like ages i can literally i just watch it it's just in, it's like puts me in a trance i could just sit there and watch fire all the time but i am super tired now so i'm gonna go to bed and hopefully sleep better tonight than I did last night. I didn't sleep very well last night. I don't really know what to say this morning. Just that. I don't really know. My heart goes out to Manchester this morning. At a concert that children go to. That was just full of children. Like... 18 and under mostly we're going to be there I literally have no words this world terrifies me it really does I have tried to film something for the last like hour or so um, I tried to film this morning before I left, I tried to film a minute ago when I was sat in, in traffic and I just can't find any words, to be honest. I don't know what to say, like I don't want, I just don't, I, I literally don't know what to say, I can't find the words to say what I want to say, it's just not coming out right. Nothing I say is obviously going to help anything so I feel like there's nothing I can say. So yeah, I just kind of wanted to say if you are from Manchester, if you are affected by what has happened, um, my heart goes out to you. I really feel for you. I really do. I, I literally don't know what to say. I really don't know what to say. Um, I've just been sat in traffic for like 45 minutes because there's an accident on the A14. Apparently it's quite a serious one as well, like a lorry and three cars. So. I really hope everyone in that is okay. It's not been a great two days, has it? Three days. <laughs> Yesterday for me at work was pretty stressful, but I just feel like I can't moan about anything. Like, there's nothing for me to moan about. No one in my life has died. Like, no one is seriously ill. Nothing has happened badly to me, so I feel like I can't... I really can't moan about my day yesterday. As much as it was stressful for me, like, my God, there's worse that could have happened. There's a guy that is about to pull up next to me, I think. Are you? Are you pulling over there? You're pulling over there. Also, today is my last day with Zoe. She leaves today. My battery is going to die in a second. Um, so, yeah, it's just typical that our last day together and I'm late, which is annoying. I'm just waiting for my bus, which is why I'm chit-chatting to you. She's in Starbucks. <laughs> I was like, I was going to buy her Starbucks breakfast this morning because it's kind of like our thing. And now she's getting it because she's already there. There's a weird, like, sunbeam across there. But, yeah, she's getting me a peach green tea lemonade thing and a lemon loaf because Starbucks lemon loaf is dreams. It's so good. Also, I had their... Uh, orange mandarin and chocolate loaf the other day so good Just need to try it if you like the lemon loaf you'll really really like that but i'm gonna go get a bus ticket now i just got a cute new top from zara so i thought i'd show you it before my battery dies i've been looking at it for ages and i just never got it and i was like screw it i'm gonna get it it's just a cute little white like not crop top but top <laughs> with pretty embroidery on it pretty pretty if you focus on it there you go cute I think I'm gonna wear it for dinner on Friday 
just because it's a birthday meal so i feel like i should make a little bit of effort <laughs> with what i wear so i'm gonna wear that with my light denim jeans from top shop and i think it'll look good now i'm gonna eat my bagel so i think a lunch break yesterday and i didn't have one on sunday so i was gonna take like an hour and a half today just like take an extra half hour but i'm so bored already like i was gonna go for another walk i was out most of my lunch it's 20 past three i've got like another 20 minutes and i'm so bored so i might just go back to work i make a tea and then go back to work bored I went into Boots actually because I've got some Boots points. I wanted to go get the, I don't know if it's Garnier or if it's Neutrogena, but they've just bought out a coal mask, I think. I might be wrong, but I really want to try it. I'm sure you know which one I'm talking about, but I really want to try it. But all of their face like washes and stuff are on three for two and it's clearly gone because it's like the newest one there. Mm -hmm. Zoe has a message. Um, so yeah, so I couldn't get it. So I didn't get anything from Boots because I was like, I'm not going to get it, get stuff like just for the sake of it. But I had £10 Boots points to spend. And that's what I wanted to spend it on. <sighs> also, I really wanted to find some like eye masks to like rehydrate my eyes and stuff because they're really dry at the moment. And I didn't have any. The only ones they had was like one set for 4 99 I'm like, I'm not spending £5 or something that I'm using once. This is the top that I got. I'm not really sure if I like it. Oh, it's quite like, I don't know. I don't think I like it. I might have to take it back, people. I don't think I'll wear it. It's not very flattering, is it? Also, it doesn't work with people who have boobs. <laughs> it just like tucks in between them. It's so annoying. Oh, I think it's going to have to go back. Gutted. I really, really like this top. I've looked at it so many times. But I just don't think I will wear it. To be honest. If it was like less triangular, like what even is that? Less triangular, maybe I would, but... It is very unflattering on me. I think. So I think it's going to go back. I'm going to have to start from the drawing board to find a nice top. Maybe I'll find another one in Zara and exchange it or something. There is actually a dress in there that I would like. It's the same price as this top, so I might exchange it for that. I might do that. But I think this is going to have to go back, which is so annoying. I was so excited for this top. I've decided all Zara clothes are made for people that don't have boobs, by the way. Also, while we're here, you know I spent like most of the afternoon the other day in Chris's garden. Look at this. I've literally been eaten alive. So I've got a bite there, it's absolutely huge. And then I've got another one, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to show you this one. Like there, can you see that? Literally eaten alive. The one on my ankle is so itchy. The one on my knee isn't, but my goodness, my ankle, I'm like, don't scratch it. <laughs> so I've just taken an antihistamine and hopefully that will work, but oh my goodness, literally. It is my own fault though because I did walk through the grass with just my socks on and like the bottom of my jeans rolled up so my ankle wasn't show. so it, that kind of is my fault but seriously Chris what do you have in your garden it's like literally eating my ankle alive I've decided to have a much needed no makeup top knot kind of day um I've got loads of stuff to sort out in my room like I need to go through all like my drawers and stuff because I literally am such a like drawer thrower, is that a weird thing to say? Like I like my room to be tidy to the, to the eye, but um, inside drawers it is not. Like that's where I hide stuff. So I'm gonna have a sorting out kind of day and then go and sit in the garden I think for a little bit this afternoon because it's such a nice day and I can't miss the sunshine because it's meant to be the nicest weekend of the year so far and I can't leave the shop at work because I'm the only key holder. So I'm literally stuck inside for the three days of the weekend. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I'm inside. <laughs> but I actually have bank holiday off this, this time because obviously it's Chris's birthday on Sunday. So because I work on Sunday, I've got my day off. We're going to go to Lakeside. I think I already need a nap. <laughs> The 
makeup drawer. I have my bin ready because I think most of this is out of date now. So, wish me luck. Okay, done. So I've got mascaras in here, faces like powders, foundations, primers in here, lipsticks, eyeliners. This is a highlight. And then I cleaned out this drawer too. So now I've got um, blushes and eyeshadows and bronzers and stuff in this one. I was just seeing if things worked. <laughs> and then I tidied my this drawer too. This is much tidier now. Although this drawer is broken and it's really annoying me. I think I said it in a vlog before. But yeah. Nice and tidy. I've started using this again, by the way. It's the Neil's Yard Wild Rose Beauty Balm. Focus on this. I've started using it on like my cuticles and my nose and stuff. Like at night when I've taken my makeup off. I've put it on today because I'm having no makeup day. But yeah, really like that and it smells really good too. Normally I hate rose scents but I quite enjoy that one. So yeah, we're all tidy. All tidy. This is all tidy. Nice. This is all tidy. Lovely. Love things when it's tidy. I've been watching um, The Keepers, which is basically about like a murder of a nun, like an old murder case that was kind of closed without being solved sort of thing. It's new to Netflix. It's really good. It's, it's I think it's real. I think it's like a real story about a nun that was murdered. And it's about two ladies who were her students who are trying to find out what actually happened. It's really good. I recommend it if you like, like murder investigation things. It's very good. Good evening. It feels like I haven't spoken to you in a lock, not lock, ages. But every time I pick up the camera to say something, it just feels kind of a bit insignificant at the moment. Like, there is no meaning to what I'm saying, therefore why am I saying it? That's how I felt most of this week. But work is done. I am changed and I am now looking tired. Nice. But leaving to go to Chris's to go out for dinner. Which I'm excited about. I'm excited to go out for dinner. I wish I didn't look so tired though. I look very tired. And I've got the little bit of my roof down. I may shut that though because it does get quite windy. Windy! Um, and I also need to try and get out of my drive and someone has parked literally opposite again. If you have watched the vlogs for a while, do you remember my little hissy fit that I had? Yeah. I don't know if I'll vlog any of the dinner. I'll try, but there's people there that like don't do YouTube and stuff. So I'm not sure if I will get the camera out. I might do. I might show you my food. <laughs> but it's 20 to 8, so let's go because I'm going to theirs first and then the table is booked for quarter to nine. Quarter to nine. Seriously. And I have to get up for work tomorrow, so these eye bags are going to be even bigger tomorrow, I can tell you that. I'm already tired after being at work all day. But yes, let's go. Also, I have jeans on. Why the... Blooming how did I put jeans on? But I rushed in, rushed out, so that is my excuse. But let's go. Small thought, I just drove past a shoe in the middle of the road, which I've done many times. Many times I've driven past a shoe. But every time it makes me think, how on earth did the shoe get in the middle of the road? Like, does someone just throw it out of the door? Or the window, obviously, they don't throw it out of the door because they're moving. Or, or what? Like, how does a shoe end up in the middle of the road? I think that every time I see it. Please tell me I'm not the only one, too. As expected, I am extremely tired this morning. Uh, we didn't leave the restaurant till 11. I had to be that annoying person that was like, I need to go. <laughs> it was really embarrassing, but I had to do it because I didn't get into bed until like half, well, I didn't get home till half 11. Maybe that's a little exaggeration. I got home at like 20 past um, and didn't get into bed till midnight. And then I just couldn't sleep. Like I just could not fall asleep. I think it's because I ate so late. Um, I'm not used to that now, like I have like a proper strict, well it's not strict, but I don't really eat after eight because I get home at seven, eat my dinner and then that's it because I'm not snacking at the moment. So yeah, I think that's why I couldn't sleep. Oh, my highlight's on point today. <laughs> I hope today is a nice day. I hope we have no mean customers. I've had a quite a stressful week to be fair. Like everything that could kind of go wrong has. It's been stressful. Hannah's been away, so um, I've been in charge, so it's all been on me, and it's just like, <sighs> I can't cope with this. Um, but hopefully today will go smoothly. Again, I can't leave the shop. 
like all weekend. This is the hottest weekend and I can't leave. It's meant to be 27 degrees today and I can't leave. So I'm not putting my tights on until I get into work. We have to wear tights by the way, it's part of our uniform. Otherwise, believe me, I would not wear black tights. So I'm putting them in my bag and I'm wearing, gonna put them on when I get there and like take them off at the end of the day and stuff. Cause these legs need some sun, like, otherwise they are not coming out this summer because I, I have pasty legs. <laughs> Oh, it goes very blue when I open the curtains, doesn't it? There we are. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to have some breakfast and then I'm going to go. But food was really good. I had a steak. I had the Ivy League steak, I think. The Ivy League fillet. That is what it's called, if you know our buckles. It was really good. There was a lot of food. I feel like my eyes are too big for my belly. Because <laughs> I ordered dessert and I definitely couldn't eat it. But it was good. I had the like a mint surprise sundae, basically a chocolate chip and mint ice cream sundae. It was good. My eyebrows are bothering me today. Hmm. Anyway, um, it was really good. I just couldn't like finish it because I got a little stomach and it was full. But yeah, we, it was a nice night. It was good. But just need to get through today and tomorrow and then I can enjoy a nice bank holiday Monday. I'm going to Lakeside. And I found out yesterday we're also going to Ikea, but we're going shopping in Lakeside. Um, and I'm hoping to have a look for a wedding outfit because I still haven't got anything to wear for this wedding. And it's stressing me out. And the jumpsuit I was going to order is now out of stock. And I don't know when it's going to come back in stock. So I'm just going to get a backup just in case. <laughs> Guys, I've ripped my skirt. <laughs> I did it this morning. Basically, we keep water up there. So I have to stand on a chair, to like one of these ones, to get up there. So I like moved the chair, pulled my skirt like up a little bit so I could move my legs, got up. And as I lifted my second leg off the floor, all I heard was and it ripped. Seriously, seriously, look. Oh, you can't see, hang on. Can you see here? Look, there. I ripped it. So annoying. So annoying. So that's. I'm going to have to stitch it because I really like this skirt. Oh well. Lunchtime, by the way. I've got a cheese bagel and hula hoops. And actually, a mini bag of chocolate fingers. Yes, I have. I just had Chinese for dinner. Mm, I still have some prawn toast left actually and then picked my nails off. They're there. <laughs> Can you see? No. They're there. Um, they needed to come off anyway because my nails are getting really long. I need to file them down. They're like claws. Uh, claws. Look how long they are. Like, they've never been this long before. I need to smother them in moisturiser though right now. They always get really dry once I've like have nails on and stuff. Especially the glitter ones for some reason. They're harder to get off. But yeah, <clears throat> today was actually quite a good day, considering how bad my week has been. Today wasn't that bad. Um, I feel really like greasy and horrible though, don't know why, but I do. Also the lighting's really weird. Um, but yeah, we had lots of nice customers in today, which was good. Happy people, which is what I like, because that makes me happy. Is that a cheesy thing to say? Probably, but it does make a difference when you like are serving happy people rather than people that are literally just out to have a, like, a moan at you. So yeah, it's been quite a nice day. But I'm now going to start editing the vlog. I'm going to try and do something a little bit different. I say try because it may not succeed. It might succeed, but it might not. But yeah, we'll see what happens. I'm sure you'll be able to tell by now <laughs> if it worked or not. If not, sorry, there was nothing new in this vlog. Um, I was going to sit and edit outside though as well because it's like a really nice day and obviously I've been inside all day but it's really windy and the wind is a bit chilly so I feel like I'm going to get cold so I'm not going to. See so, ya. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously, when it focuses on this, look at this thing. It's a Neapolitan like wafer chalk ice thing and I'm very excited to eat it. Yes I am. It's actually turned into quite a long vlog. It's like half an hour long, so my longest vlog in a long time. I think it's because I vlogged quite a lot on Monday, um, so that's kind of the bulk of the vlog itself, which I'm actually quite glad about. Like, those are the sort of days that I like to vlog, because they're the sort of ones that, like, you can look back on and know that you, like, enjoyed that day. Does that make any sense? 
I hope that makes sense. I feel like this is the same ending as I had last week with my hoodie on and stuff. This hoodie is the best thing I ever bought, by the way. The best £22 I've ever spent in Topshop is on this hoodie. I look naked. I have shorts, I promise. Um, it's the best £22 I've ever spent. But yeah, it's actually my brother's birthday when this goes up. So tomorrow, 28th. So if you've made it to the end of the vlog, make sure to leave a little comment down below saying happy birthday to him. Um, I will be seeing him at the end of the day because obviously I'm at working. I'm at working. I'm at work. So um, he's coming over in the evening for a roast dinner. So that would be yummy. And um, so yeah, if you made it to the end, go and wish him happy birthday in the comments. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next week. Love ya. Mm -hmm.